what is up guys EJ here back with another video and today it's gonna to be my blu-ray DVD collection for 2020 and uh, television part 3 so uh, up first we have uh, married with children uh, the complete first season of course fantastic show uh, from the late 80s early 90s Ed O'Neill as Al Bundy fantastic Katie Seagal uh, Christina Applegate um, David Faustino as Bud. Yeah, I, I love Married with Children. Just a irreverent, funny show. Um, Al Bundy, one of the great characters of all time. Um, complete second ser uh, second season. These are pretty tight in here. Third season, of course, uh, Amanda Bierce in there. Um, Ted McGinley as uh, Jefferson. Um, as her second husband after, uh, I believe Steve, I forget the actor's name who played Steve, uh, but he was good as well. Fifth season, sixth season, seventh season, ugh, eighth season, ninth season. I would say the last couple seasons are not that great. Tenth season. Um, especially with the whole no ma'am uh, part of it um, and the 11th season that would probably be my least favorite but the first like nine seasons are all fantastic all right up next we have modern family another great uh, ed o'neill show of course um yeah i really enjoyed this show on abc uh that just uh finished recently um sofia vergara fantastic ty barrel and um uh, Julie Bowen, fantastic. Uh, Ariel Winter and Sarah Hyland. I love uh, um, Ariel Winter's character. She was probably my favorite. Uh, you've got Eric Stone Street and Jesse Tyler Ferguson. <sighs> so let's see. Mon Family Season 2. God, these are tight. Season 3. Complete 4 season, etc. 5th season. Sixth season, seventh season, eighth season, ninth season. So I think I need to get ten, ten, and maybe eleven. I think it went to eleven. Uh, anyway, up next we have Mr. Bean, um, Rowan Atkinson, uh, the whole Bean. Again, another great uh, British uh, TV sitcom. Of course, Rowan Atkinson just hilarious. Um, as Mr. Bean, I was never a big uh, Black Adder fan growing up in England. Um, maybe a little bit too heady for me at that age, uh, but I was aware of him on that show as well. Um, and of course, that's a classic as well. But Mr. Bean was more my speed. The uh, the the Mr. Bean movies, not so much, but the original TV show is fantastic. All right, up next we have My Boys. Uh, the complete first season. This is a really underrated show that ran on TBS. If you love sports and comedy, this is a fantastic show that I really enjoyed. Uh, Jordana uh, Spiro, uh, Spiro is the main lead. She's a sports writer in Chicago, and all her friends are guy friends. And um, yeah, good show. Uh, Jim Gaffigan played her older brother, uh, so another good thing with uh, Jim Gaffigan in it. Um, Carl uh, Howard. Uh, Reed Scott, um, I believe this guy right here, yeah, he's really good in Veep as well, big fan of that, that show as well, um, yeah, really good show, I like My Boys a lot, only ran for like two or three seasons, so we've got the complete second and third season, and the final season, really enjoyed that show a lot. Alright, up next we have My So-Called Life, uh, the complete series of course, Clara Danes, uh, fantastic show in the early to mid 90s um, the again ran too short uh, Jared Leto fantastic great soundtrack um, just one of the first like sort of teen high school TV shows that I watched uh, after I moved to uh, the States in like in 1992 <coughs> um, yeah I love have loved Claire Danes ever since obviously all right, up next we have uh, New Girl, uh, the complete first season. Yeah, really good show on Fox that I enjoyed a lot with uh, Zoe Deschanel, uh, fantastic uh, Jake Johnson, uh, and Max Greenfield as uh, Schmidt. Um, really funny character. I really enjoyed uh, uh, New Girl quite a bit. 
So let's uh, New Girl complete second season, third season, fourth season, and fifth season. All right, up next we have uh, The Office, uh, the original uh, BBC complete series one and two, and the special, of course, with uh, Ricky Gervais. Uh, I never got into uh, The American Office with Steve Carell. Um, don't ask me why, I just, just never did. Alright, up next we have O oh, Dr. Beeching, uh, the complete first and second series. Again, this is a show with uh, Paul McShane, Jeffrey Holland, and Sue Pollard. Uh, this was, the I think, the last show they did together. Not as good as Heidi High or the other one, which I'll get to later. Up next we have uh, The Orville, um, the complete first season. Yeah, I really enjoyed this sort of Star Trek uh, spin-off spoof, not spin-off spoof, uh, by Seth MacFarlane um, on Fox. Um, I need to get the second season as well. I watched the whole first season. I haven't really watched much of the second season. Um, but Adrian uh, Pel uh, Pelicki, uh, how do you say her name? She's good in this as well. She was also on... Uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I forgot to mention her in that show as well. But yeah, I like Doraville a lot. One of the newest shows I got into in recent years. Alright, up next we have Outnumbered. Another great BBC, uh, more modern uh, sitcom. Obviously didn't watch this in England growing up. But I caught it, I think online originally. And I really liked it a lot. Sue Skinner and Hugh Dennis. Fantastic. Uh, sort of coping with their three kids. Uh, Ramona Marquez, the young girl, she's she's just hilarious. Great show. I need to pick up series five. This is series one to four. Uh, yeah, they, they did another series. I need to pick that one up as well uh, to complete that. God, everything's like tight here. All right, up next we have uh, The Pacific. Um, I believe this came out 2010. Um, yeah, another great uh, miniseries uh, produced by Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, of course. Um, beautiful to look at this on Blu-ray. Um, not as good as Band of Brothers, but still really good. Alright, up next we have uh, Penny Dreadful, the complete first season. Really good show with uh, um, Ava Green and Josh Hartnett. Uh, Timothy Dalton, fantastic. I believe this ran, yeah, Showtime. Um, yeah, really good dark uh, sort of your classic monsters given a new spin. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. So I got the complete second season um, and the final season. Probably show that could have gone on longer if you ask me. All right, up next we have uh, Planet Earth, another uh, docu uh, documentary TV show from uh, PBS. Again, I got the BBC version, the complete series. Um, yeah, again, I enjoy a little bit of nature uh, documentaries, stuff about um, planet Earth and uh, wildlife and that kind of stuff, and this is really good as well. I forget who, uh, yeah, it's narrated by David Attenborough as well. Up next, we have Rome, um, the complete series, of course, lavish uh, HBO show with, um, let's see... Ray Stevenson, uh, I think Alex McKidd, um, James Purefoy, fantastic looking show. Um, so that is Rome. Right guys, moving on down, up next we have uh, Saved by the Bell, uh, seasons one and two. I uh, loved this show uh, after I moved here, it was one of the first <laughs> sort of teen shows that I watched after uh, school. Um, yeah, Mark Paul Gosselaar, uh, Gosselaar um, Zach Morris is trash. <laughs> That's a great uh, internet meme. Uh, yeah, Elizabeth Berkeley, uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen as Kelly Kapowski, uh, Screech, uh, Dustin Diamond, um, AC Slater, Mario Lopez, fantastic, uh, Lark Voorhees. Um, yeah, just a fantastic show. Uh, Dennis uh, Haskins, I believe, as Mr. Belding. Um, I was a big fan of Saved by the Bell. I don't believe this has the Miss Bliss years. Um, uh, so I've always got seasons three and four. 
season five, um, which had the weird uh, Tori character, like after they initially graduated high school, it was all out of whack, like Saved by the Bell, the seasons, the, not really seasons, I mean, who knows. Uh, the college years, not as good as uh, the high school stuff, because um, you're missing, obviously, uh, Jesse and... Uh, and um, I'm like com completely blanking on uh, Locke Voorhees uh, character's name. Um, but anyway, also got the Saved by the Bell uh, wedding in Las Vegas and Hawaiian style, which are really good fun. Alright, up next we have Scrubs, the complete first season with uh, Zach Braff and uh, Donald Faison, fantastic. Uh, Sarah Chalk, uh, big fan of her from this series. Um, John C. McGinley, hilarious. Uh, I was, I've never really been a big fan of, uh, doctor or hospital shows, but as far as, um, those go, this is probably my favorite, because of, because obviously it's a comedy. Uh, complete second season, third season, fourth season, fifth season, sixth season, seventh season, uh, eighth season, and the ninth and final season. Alright, up next we have Seinfeld. Uh, probably my all-time favorite show. Uh, seasons 1 and 2. Um, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld. Just fantastic. Uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus is Elaine. Uh, Jason Alexander is George. And Michael Richards is Kramer. Um, I can re-watch Seinfeld probably until the end of the time. I still, I still do. Usually when we eat dinner here, around 7 o'clock, we watch Jeopardy. Uh, but while Jeopardy was on, like, hiatus, um, during the pandemic, obviously, and they just came back recently, we watched Seinfeld reruns, basically, because we record Seinfeld. And I'll never get tired of watching Seinfeld. Uh, season 3, Season 4, Way Night. Fantastic as Newman. I love Newman. Season 5. Uh, just a whole great bunch of episodes. Season 6. Season 7. Season 8. And Season 9. Alright, up next we have Sex and the City. Uh, the complete first season, of course. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Kim Cattrall. Love her on the show. Cynthia Nixon. Uh, Kristen Davis. Uh, of course, on HBO, not really my, uh, I'm not really the targeted genre for, uh, or demographic for Sex and the City, but I did enjoy the show. I have seen the whole thing. I, I did not like the movies, though. I've seen both the movies. I didn't care for the movies. But the show's good. So that was second season, third season, fourth season. I'm trying to figure out where they split it up here. Fifth season, oh, that's maybe it's the last one. Yeah, season six, part one. I hate that they split them up. And season six, part two. All right, up next we have Some Mothers Do Have Them. Um, another great 70s BBC British um, comedy classic with uh, Michael Crawford. Um, before Mr. Bean, uh, there was Frank Spencer. Um, yeah, very like hilarious uh, physical comedy. Uh, Michael Crawford, big star back then. Um, really funny stuff. A nostalgic show uh, that I enjoyed as a kid. <clears throat> Alright, up next we have Sons of Anarchy. Uh, season 1, of course, great uh, FX show, uh, which I have not watched all of it. Um, yeah, Ron Perlman, Katie Segal, uh, and Charlie Hunnam, of course, about a motorcycle gang. Uh, Sons of Anarchy Season 2, Season 3, Season 4. Season 5, and uh, Season 6, and the final season. Alright, up next we have The Sopranos, another HBO classic, of course, really the show, along with Sex and the City, that launched HBO. Um, the complete first season, James Gandolfini, fantastic. Uh, Edie Falco, of course, uh, Jamie Lynn Sigler, uh, Lorraine Bracco, Michael Imperioli, um... Um, yeah, just a fantastic show. Took me a while to get around to watching it, but I finally did watch it at some point. Um, so that is uh, The Sopranos, complete second season, third season, fourth season. And it would be kind of weird if I didn't end on The Sopranos, uh, even though we're going down another peg. Uh, complete fifth season, and again, season six, part one. 
season six part two so i'll end right there for the sopranos and uh part three of television up next will be part four of course the final video of this long like two month journey of uh, doing my 2020 uh, DVD and Blu-ray collection. So thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you. Bomb. James Bond.